Sorry, folks. Ah. Um. All good, Fox. No problem, no problem. Artagio and Captain Undead. Man, TVT. Yeah. I was telling you, right, how I've been practicing more Terran. You have Just been. TVT is the bane of my existence. Okay. I actually think I had a couple of successful ones. I, I've, I'm starting to figure it out a little bit. But uh, like okay. like liberator is our are a saving grace, but for tank positioning sucks. Or for like head on engagements. For head on engagements, okay. I I've been using them to help me gain an edge in tank positioning. Because you can kind of like, like need siege up on your opponent's tanks, right? Mm hmm. Like you still need Vikings. You need a, You definitely need to be ahead in the Viking war. But if you get like one or two liberators that you can use to. Uh, cause them to unsiege. You can push a position. That's super nice. That's super, super nice. It's just, it's so much, like, every unit you use is siege and unsiege, and you just have to leapfrog forward, and... Oh, man. It's crazy. Craziness. Anyway, yeah. spawning up here in the top left-hand corner in the pink, it is our Terran, Captain Undead. All right, and in the bottom right-hand corner in the blue, uh, the other Terran, Bartashi. So, I'm confused by what Captain Undead is saying. I wonder, he was saying that mules can get trapped at the third base, the triangle third. But I wonder where they get trapped. Is it if you put them, maybe if you put them on like the mineral patches that are like the triangle mineral patches in the back? That's what it, where it looks like it would happen to me. That's the only place. The, like the, the triangle mineral patch that is um, closer to the gas geysers. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So, huh, I've never seen get trapped. Well, there you go. There's confirmation that David Kim just hates Terrans. Dude, definitely everyone hates <laughs> Terrans because Terrans is so hard to play. And boo -boo. Oh, so sad. So sad. Sad life of a Terran player. They even have our mules spawning behind the mineral patches so that we don't get the benefits. Right. Awful. It's so sad. Absolutely Dude, so, awful. So, so Terran, Terran, right? They're like, they're the comeback race that like requires, like, they they are the race that has the best comeback mechanics, okay? Because like the harassment's really strong and mules are really strong, okay? Protoss is the race with like the stupidest, most powerful comeback mechanics, like DTs that randomly run in. And like you're way ahead, and then you just lose all your workers, and you're like, "Oh crap!" Okay, and, or there there are mm -hmm. other things like that with, or like a or, or like a disruptor shot. Oh my god! Yeah. How many games have I lost because a disruptor <laughs> shot kills twenty supply? Right. Yeah. Even more, maybe. Um. So you know you kind you kind of do have to feel bad a little bit for Terran because at least they have to play well in order to come back. And their games, <laughs> but you know, Protoss, lols. Um, all right, so oh, he gets the he uh -oh. gets the pause there. SUV. Yeah. yeah, he does. Who, who paused it? Captain Undead. Did? Captain Undead. Okay. okay. Just in time for us to see that sick animation on the SCV exploding. Yeah, so I was gonna say it wasn't it wasn't a BM pause by Bartagio, like pause and then do a question mark, you know? Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, why'd you lose your? <laughs> Why'd you lose that SCV? Rip, rip. Question mark? Dude, the BM question mark. Yeah. It's a powerful tool in some arsenals. The pause question mark. That is like. Yeah. That's some good stuff. I um. You know, I'm I'm net the, the the my my whole thing is like never, never offensively BM. You know. Mm -hmm. Just don't do it. It's mean. But if I know someone is very, very BM, they've been very BM to me in the past. Oh my gosh, he gets the cancel second, again. Second, as wow. well as the Reaper. This and is a Reaper. hero Reaper right here. It is. Um. I so I I have done it on very few occasions. What the offensive BM? Yeah, oh, and it's usually usually when it's something where like the I know exactly what you're talking about. Where like I know the person has been BM or something, and I, also when I absolutely know I can win, right? 
Like, there's no no chance in throwing it there too. Okay. But so the it's one a that I can remember. of those two things. The one I remember the most that I'm not sorry for is when I was in a tournament, and it was match point, and I had to like, uh, I had to go use the restroom or something, so I wasn't ready. And when I came back, I came back to a bunch of angry messages of the guy waiting for me. He was like, you just should have queued up, blah, blah, you know, just being super nasty. And so his way to punish me was to make me wait the whole duration of the waiting period before we started our match point game. Seems and then I totally weird. wrecked him. Oh, yeah. And so at the very end, I, I typed, uh, it must feel really bad to have made me wait this long to wreck you. Oh, and uh, that, that was the, the pinnacle of my BM. No, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good, I gotta say. Like, <laughs> what? Uh, uh, that that is just it's hard to understand. You know, like why? It is, it... <laughs> why did he do it? Why did he do it? All right, we got six Hellions wrecking some face here by Captain Undead, who's he caught a Hellion and a Reaper, pretty much for free out on the map. Yeah, Captain Undead is actually bringing it back with this Hellion harass. He needs to. Yeah. Uh, make sure to focus fire here, though. It's because we have this third coming down by Bartagio. He's he decided to be very macro heavy. Ooh, oh, he's gonna lose all of these SCVs though. Lord. That's actually a huge lead. Like, yeah. holy cow! He just killed so oh. many SCVs and mules. Yeah. And I just mean, did look how eight, quickly Hellions nine. kill buildings. Oh my gosh, they just tickle, <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. tickle. <laughs> I mean, we do have three command centers. Like out and ready by a Bartagio, he may be able to make this comeback. Mules are a pretty good unit. This like, Raven by Captain Undead yeah, is interesting. It's so clutch. It killed both of the like uh, the Widow Mines, mm -hmm. which is like insanely clutch. Really sick. All right, Bart's gonna try to get something done with this Banshee going across the map. Um, I feel like he well he, he might be able to hold this with something else, but I feel like he could push it away with the Banshee. He is opting instead to. Try to be sneaky and get some worker kills. Oh, he is getting worker kills with this Banshee up top. 13. 13. Oh my word. Oh my Slug word. Fat. I didn't notice that. Holy cow. No, me either. There's nothing to contest these Banshees. One the Marine. Raven's coming back home. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Part just Hellions such just. A big lead. Hellions don't shoot up. <laughs> okay, we got the turret dropped. Oh, it's gonna get the Banshee. Nice. Good catch, but there is a second Banshee still. Like a Raven or some. Uh, not a Raven, uh, a Viking. Great. Oh, it gets the second Banshee. Okay. Okay. Nice. There's something. At the end of this, we got 29 to 25 workers in favor of Bartagio. Slight worker lead, and he is just now landing his third. So Bart has the slight advantage, but I don't think that Captain Undead is out of this by any means. No, no, because he's got, you know, he's got that third base. He's getting the orbital now. And, uh, he needs and, to spend that money. You know, with any luck, Bart's going to get some uh, some trapped mules. <laughs> third base. And, uh, you know, big things could happen here for Captain Undead. Oh, absolutely. Man, that was a scrappy beginning to our game, though. It looks like we have a bio follow-up coming out of Captain Undead. Oh, actually, out of both players. Both yeah. opting. We got um, Double Engineering Bay coming out of Bart. We have the extra barracks being added by Cap Captain Undead. So they're just approaching bio from two different angles. Look at all these mules on the natural of Bart. Oh, yeah. My He's goodness. He's scared, man. He doesn't, he doesn't want to get him trapped at the third. <laughs> Making extra sure he, he doesn't throw away that advantage. Yeah. Alright, so we got a single drop heading out to the left hand side. So I'm gonna try to see what he can see. Man, I feel like there was there was just so much potential that Captain Undead had, and I think he just got he, he got a little too overconfident there. With his mm. uh you know, I think he... his push. I think, he I think he also got a little bit kerfuffled. If he had left his Hellions at Bartagio's natural and just had him sit there uh, while dealing with all the aggression in his base, I think he could have gotten a little bit more value out of his Hellions. Yeah, well, no, I, I, I think you're right, but, like, if, if you think about what happened, 
He, oh gosh, okay. He's gonna be able to clean up. Nice. Oh, nice. It gets the interference matrix. Um, but like, literally, he didn't even move the SCVs from the main. Like, at all. Mm. So, I think, had he, so it must have meant that he was like staring at, he must have been staring at, at Bart's side of the side of the map, right? But his Hellions weren't yeah. actually doing anything, which makes me think he was just fit, he was like kind of waiting for the GG. He was just like looking for, like, all right, like I, I just killed all these SCVs. Like, when's this gonna? When's it gonna? That's be a over? possibility. I don't know. I don't. Know. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But going back and seeing that like 15 SCVs had gone down to one Banshee, that that's yeah. that's just uh, extreme. Oh gosh. Oh, he gets up. Almost. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, and another crazy. one. Oof. Okay, not too All much right. damage. Alright, so both pushes are going to find each other in the middle of the map. Got any sieges up coming? Oh, Bart's going to. He accidentally loaded up into his med back. Oh no. The but he's totally dead, fine. man. He went for the I'm siege. Not the Ravens. He shouldn't have sieged. Mm. Not uh, those oh, those auto turrets got a lot of value, though. Actually, um, that wasn't as favorable as I thought it would be for Bartagio. Yeah, the auto turrets did did do some good work, but uh, but still, I, I actually think if like if Bart, I mean, if Captain Undead had not sieged, he would have cleaned it up. Hmm. Like, or at least Bart wouldn't have ended up with this much remaining. Yeah. We do have a fourth out by Bart. It's not being utilized at the moment. It's just got one, two, two lowly SCVs. A guy and his lazy buddy that's watching him work. He's the manager. Meanwhile, we have uh, the siege up position, but I don't think it's going to. Yeah, this liberator's going to get taken out. Third is forced to lift. I think this push by Bart is pretty, pretty much dead. It's well spent. Yeah, I think he needs think to go so. home with his marauders and tanks. And he's got his fourth base up. It's a planetary, so Bart's feeling good right now. Man, this SCV is still just sitting there. Wait, where is this SCV? Oh, there we go. <laughs> he was just chilling at the fourth. Oh, like, uh, right oh, in the path yeah, of yeah. his buddy SCV. Oh, that's funny. He's got this tank sieged up on the high ground. He wants to hold on to this position, but... Oh, man. I'm loving these ravens out of Captain Undead. It's super awesome to see. Me too, but I'm not loving the sea jumps. It's, mm. it, you know, like, when the engagement has has already started. That's not good to you siege don't up. don't want to siege. Because you're just Ooh. wasting firepower. Oh, gosh. Yeah, and he overextended, lost all of his units to a bunch of marauders. Lost the ravens. And lost the ravens, too. He also lost a good amount of vikings. Yeah. Oh, he wants those. Fourth he is, is almost finished. He is ahead overall, though, um, in supply. So his army supply is way ahead of Bart's. Let's see if uh, he can get his worker count uh, higher. And his, his worker count isn't bad by any means. He's at 57 workers, which, you know, for like three bases, especially when you have mules, is really nice. I mean, it's not really nice, but it's, it's not really bad either. Um, he's just now floating his fourth over. And he is... Uh, continuing to make more SCVs, so... Truce! That's Captain Undead. Um... Strahd, I don't think... I don't think a Liberator will hit an Auto Turret. I don't think it will. Oh... An Auto Turret does count as a building. You, you can see, actually see it in the Fog of War. If, like, it's been... If mm -hmm. it's down, and you, like, lose vision of it, you'll still see it in the Fog of War as a building. Yeah, Libs don't shoot turrets. Yeah. Very interesting. I didn't know about that, but it makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because sometimes you'll you'll be scared. You'll be like, "Oh, there are all those auto turrets there," and then you're like, "Wait, that was like two minutes ago." <laughs> not still there. Right. Fifth coming down by Bartagio on location. And sixth. Corner. Wow, what a legend! This is like okay. tons of macro. Right, dude. So many marauders too. This is very interesting. I feel like in bio tank versus bio tank, you actually want, or rather, you, I just usually see less marauders, right? Marauders are more of an anti mech tool. And those two sets of medbacks almost 
saw each other, but not quite. Yeah, that's a really good point. All right, he's going to be able to drop at this base. Definitely get the cancel on the 6th. Well, he's... Oh, oh he's not actually going to. He's going to go straight for the main. Bold move. Oh, Bart's coming back oh. with his medevacs. Wait, oh, okay. Indecisive. Okay. But <laughs> there were some missile It was, it was there, a trick so move. I respect it. And now yep, Bart's yep. going to go back. All right, Bart's dropping right outside of the base. He's going to get met by this tank fire. I like the positioning on these tanks. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to get too much done. No, he might. Maybe he could jump on top of the tanks. Or... I don't know, uh, because there's two of them. Even if he dropped on top, nah. He's just opting instead to go into the natural. See what he can get done. These Vikings are going to help clean up the medbacks, as are the Marines. This drop has been cleaned up with only three worker kills. Not Meanwhile, bad for the captain. Not bad for the captain indeed. Alright, this huge amount of marauders and some tanks is moving out towards the north on the left hand side. I'm a little bit scared for Captain Undead actually because he has no idea that this is coming. He doesn't have like a sensor tower. He is not in position. Uh, maybe he'll catch wind of it coming with SCVs. Ooh. All right. I'm. I'm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is worrisome. This is very worrisome. He's completely out of position. His I think tanks that. Tanks are in the right spot. But there we go. Four tanks. Can tank some tank shots. That's for sure. Oh yeah, they sure can. Oh nice. Bart just picks up every one of those tanks, pulls back to his own tank line. All of these marines need to pull back. There we go. That's well done. Yeah. Well done by Bart. Captain Undead had had tanks up on, like, where the fifth base the is. The high ground? Up on yeah. the high ground there, that would have been sick. So dope. So, how, how much more health do uh, Marauders have than Marines? Marauders have 125, and I believe they start out with one arm. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, they start out with one armor. Marines with combat shields have 55. Um, so, Marauders over double the health of a Marine. But in if you're going like straight bio wars, I think mass marine beats uh, any amount of marauders mixed in. If you're gonna have the same amount of supply okay, and money spent, I could be wrong Just about DPS that. DPS is so much higher for marines. Because DPS um, and because money, marauders also a hundred uh, yes. minerals and 20, 25 gas, right? Uh, they're worth a lot more. Makes sense. Uh, Endless, this is going to be the last viewer show match of today, but you can definitely get in tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> um, There's always tomorrow. That's exactly right, here Bart right. comes in. Ooh, okay. Oh gosh, no, going this is to... where every Marine disappears. <laughs> or not. They, wow. They've done it. Wow, oh I was goodness. very scared. There were no medevacs. So that, oh my gosh, and the retreating Marauders getting wrecked here. Oh, but we have a drop coming in by Bart into the uh, main. <laughs> he almost went to the fourth. It's a bold move. Reinforcements yep. coming out in the main. Oh, he's going to siege. No. Stop the siege. All right, well, <laughs> darn. Although, actually, I think that second tank probably got some more value from sieging than not. Yeah, but it, it could have, like, they could have stutter stepped back, right? Stutter yeah, back. and he could have saved them. Save I agree. All right, this gets cleaned up, but it got a significant amount of damage. Nine worker kills as well as two tanks. Yeah, that ain't so bad. That's really that good ain't value. bad at all. This poor marauder is stuck in the, the back of Captain Undead's base. Dude, that guy's scared out of his mind. Oh, my gosh. Like, do you Where is he, though? Huh? I don't know. Just the way he's looking over the edge there. <laughs> he this is life. my time. He come, He's coming back in. He had to prepare. Here he goes. He's going. For oh, oh no, dude. <laughs> Turn sideways and shimmy. You could see that. You could see that liberation ring on the ground, man. Oh, how sad. He thought it was going to be more honorable to run through a liberation zone than to just go ahead and jump off the, uh, the cliff there. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, after after a long moment of uh, contemplation. reflection. Oh, yeah, gosh. The doom drop. Doom drop. Ooh, and this army by Captain Undead, he, he should see this, he needs to come back. Okay, that he was a, not, want not to. exactly what I expected for a Doom drop. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
That usually is not what you think of when you think of Doom Drop. That is correct. All right, the, he does get the uh, defending planetaries, but gets pushed out. I don't think that's really what you want to accomplish. No, unless you're able to, like, you have a plan to push into that same location later. It's really not worth it to go in, lose units to a planetary, kill the planetary, and leave. Yeah, I agree. Man, this is... Captain Undead, I think, is, has climbed his way into a very favorable position. Yeah. But let's see here, though. We, we have this second force out of Bartagio. Bartagio's got these nice uh, positional moves where he's, he's doing multi-pronged stuff. He's hopping on top of this planetary. We okay, have the repair coming able... down. Oh, no repair? No, no repair. repair. Captain has uh, destroyed Bartagio's defense at home, though, so it looks like we're going to find ourselves in a bit of a base trade scenario. Captain Undead's army is much bigger though oh i love this captain um, undead's just going straight in he's going yeah i think that's what he needs to do for the throat and get the production bart lifted get off. the liberation zones interesting can't huh oh no he's going home oh man yeah, he's, like that just gave captain undead time to react yeah oh man this is pretty dicey if captain can get on captain undead can get on on this high ground in the main and um there isn't really much that Bartagio can do about it. Dude, these Liberators are so sick. Sieging on top of the tanks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they go after the Marauders, unfortunately, but the idea was, was good. Yeah. Bart's trying to rebuild his production at his third, making a bunch of barracks, but this is a great siege position on the tanks by Captain Undead, just getting the high ground. Holding it with the Vikings. These units trying to come in from Bartagio just are not finding any angle. Mm. No, Captain Undead, finish off the the production. Finish off yeah, the production. No. Finish. no. Finish him. Dude, Bart has so much more money than Captain Undead, and he's rebuilding all of his production now. No. No. Captain Undead. Oh. Oh, man. This is actually maybe looking a little dicey. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, now look. In. Okay, he's gonna try to get this, but now look at Captain Undead's force. Yes. Out on, uh, he still has the supply lead. Um, they're does. they're about even on workers, and he does have the the base lead and production, so he's he's still in a good position. But I feel like he had thrown away quite a good advantage, man. If he had held this high ground and just sieged it with tanks, he would deny mining on the third that where all of Bartagio's production is. Yeah new production so tons of reactors going down uh mass marine the 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 bank advantage of course still with bartagio um by a huge amount yeah a massive amount. <laughs> like almost 10 to 1 mm -hmm. bart is still expanding he's deciding to take uh spaces off to the left this force, I think, is a little bit stuck. He need, I think that he should pick up and get out at this point. Okay, I think this might be it. The reinforcements are coming across. And, okay. Um, unless, you know, yeah. The Liber Liberator sieging on the tanks, that's nice. I think you're right. This production was not up as fast as it needed to be. <gasps> but he left it. He left the production. Oh, no. Okay, moral of this story is that if you have the, like, opportunity to kill production, kill production. Do it. <laughs> Ooh, these oh, tanks are my all... Gosh. Uh, Ooh, these uh, are some brave marines. Oh my gosh, those marines said <laughs> to me. Oh my word. And the, then the liberators, that's that's what we needed. All right. They are cleaning up. They are cleaning up. Holy cow, those liberators were amazing. Every last tank of Bartagio goes down. And Bart is trying his darndest to uh, cut a bio for us. Come back in here and get this. Oh my gosh, he just has so much money. He can, <laughs> yeah. He's making tons Four of more factories and starports. Unreal. Mm. Causing the uh, these liberators over here on the right side denied mining time. Bart says. Mm. Hmm. Mm. 
It's getting kind, it's getting of, difficult. kind of difficult. <laughs> Indeed it is. But I like... I, I, I don't know, with this much money and this much production coming up, I feel like there's a chance. Maybe I'm there's naive. It just finished, so let's see what he can get out. I don't think that he has time to make all of these reactors. Tech labs, sure. I can see that for getting tanks out, but reactors take so long to build. I don't think he's going to be able to utilize them. Yeah, you might be right. Let's, you know, it, it all depends on what Captain Undead does, though. Does he push his, um, does he push his, uh, his, his way into that fourth base area, or does he? Let's see. Let's wait. All right, four tanks at a time being pumped out here. This Liberator on top of the Marine production, that's really nice. These Liberators by Captain Undead are just... They're deadly, man. They are deadly. Everything that's popping out of this production is getting sniped. All right, and here come the Marines to try to clean up. Let's see if some we get... scans coming down. Not sure who did that. Sorry? I was just saying, let's see if we can get some, uh, some medevacs coming out. Oh, no! He put down the buildings hastily and now has... Tanks trapped. <laughs> that is the worst. At least Terran can lift off their buildings. You know, for all of your griping about Protoss, that's one thing that they can't do. Whenever you get your unit stuck as a Protoss, you gotta kill buildings. That's true, but Protoss recalls. <laughs> that's true. Okay, you have, skill, you're right. High skill recall. Um, re re recall can help you. Recall. <laughs> You know, um, Bart has got himself back up to like 150 supply. There is a chance. I'd love to see like a medback or two, though. This army is bruised. Jin, yeah, show, show me an angry cat. I'd love to see an angry cat. Oh no, the siege position's so good. So much uh, stuff dying. All these Vikings, though, they're going to be able to take out some of these medbacks. Vikings from Captain Undead. See, now Bartagio needs some Liberators, right? Help out with this tank position. Indeed. There's a bunch of idle workers from Bart. I guess they don't have anywhere to go. They only have two bases. Man, I'm feeling like Bart is just bleeding out. He is, but somehow, some way, he's, he's still sort of in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. And he's still got a massive bank. A massive bank. Bigger than Captain Undead. Alright, he's trying to float his command center down to take this, uh, I guess now what would be a third base? I guess fourth base? Dude, what a legendary game. <laughs> yeah, dude, this, this has been one for the books, man. Really Scrappy nice. from the get-go. <laughs> oh, all these tanks, they don't want to siege up right there. Okay, but the Vikings are here to help um, save the tanks. Sieged up position. Tanks from Captain Undead shelling away at the planetary. They do get it. Alright. Oh, want to siege these other tanks, Bart? Oh. Yeah, Bart hasn't sieged up his tanks. Okay, That's here they come down now, but it's okay. too late. It's too late. Dude, if those tanks had been sieged up... I think it would have been different. I think it would have been very different. Would have been a massacre the other way around. Oh, all right. Tanks from Captain Undead sieging up on this planetary. They found themselves a good position. Now we have double stuck tanks over at the tank production. Fortunately. Yeah. Uh, Draft just... dodgers. Oh, they're gonna oh. they're gonna siege up in place. Nice. Hold the production. Look at this, the, the, the medbacks, or the SCVs killing a tank. Bartagio's SCVs are heroes. They oh are. my goodness, oh. and they get it. At the cost of, who knows, that <laughs> the boys OP. They are. That was like maybe 12 SCVs dead right there. But they had a job and they did it. Bartagio is the one making liberators. Liberators. That's it's 
Nice. That'll be helpful against the tanks. He's got these lib zones set up. It's Looks like he's... Not a good bank. It's, it's not what it used to be. But... Right, and it's still... I guess maybe it's not the better bank anymore. He's dragging behind in gas. Yeah. Man, what awesome armies between both of them. They're juggling liberators, tanks, vikings, and bio. Yeah. This is some madness right here. Ah, Captain Undead has found a good angle on that orbital. It's gonna have to lift. Ball Savage, thanks for the 200-bit cheer, man. I appreciate it. Guys, can I see some glacial parts in the chat? For Ball Savage's 200-bit cheer. Wow, Ball Savage is here. It's, uh, it's Ball Savage. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Ball Savage. <laughs> He's, he's a Frenchman, okay? Oh, yes, he's of high acquired tastes. That's right. Um. Oh, wait, then not a Frenchman. Man. <laughs> not a Frenchman. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know why people make jokes about Frenchmen, but I figure, you know, everyone else does, so I might as well hop on board. Dude, um, I gotta feel Captain Undead's frustration right now because he's gotta have been like. I've totally won this at least three times this game, <laughs> and That's he's still true. like, Bart is still just holding on, man, relentless, Smashing not giving down up. down that production, <laughs> and like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's... All these tanks. Captain Undead said, this is fun, but is it? Is it really? <laughs> oh gosh. Siege! Siege! Oh wait, no, don't siege. It's... Now, all of those liberators. Uh, he's like in a really awkward position with all these buildings in the way of his siege tanks. Alright. There's no more Vikings out of Bartagio. This Viking advantage by Captain Undead um, is gonna keep any kind of liberators from going down. Oh, one Thor pops out to his death. But not before he bruises some. <laughs> or something. Oh, or something. Uh, these liberators cleaning house, taking out all these tanks. Oh, goodness. You know, I actually really like the idea of Thor to counter Vikings. It's just they were out at the, the wrong time. DJ Picture, thank you for that Twitch Prime sub, my dude. Nice. Wow. Thanks. Whoa, we have 63 subs. Where did, when did that happen? Where did that come from? Holy cow, I need to update that for you guys. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Bart's evacuating. He's got one last hope. One last bastion. And it has just been found. Alright, for some reason, guys, it's not updating. Uh, don't know why it's not updating. But know that that 43 out of 100 is wrong. It's actually 63 out of 100. How are you hey. still building? Yeah, sorry. Um. Oh, how are you still building? That yeah, that's right. It was that that bank. That bank was insane that he had right at right at the beginning. It was that absolutely was ridiculous. I think this is it though. Captain Undead takes it. Boom! There it is. G G's. Wow. Good game. Now, it that be was extremely exciting. That behind it all, Captain Undead was taking a bunch of bases. He had like, he had by the end of it had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bases. So, well done. No, Captain you're right. Undead. He didn't. He didn't just. He didn't get stupid. He didn't get silly when he when he was ahead. He kept macroing. So that's good. good Absolutely, stuff. something that we we had forgotten to mention and get back to. Yeah. It was just exciting, man. There was so much action happening was, everywhere. I, I, literally, <laughs> like, almost. Almost the greatest comeback in viewer show match history.